to be a first impressions of this unit that I have on right now. This unit is called Conus and it is by a company called It's the Wig and it's Swiss Lace Conus in the color 1B slash 30. This is the box that the wig came in. I didn't I didn't buy this wig offline. It's cheaper online. I did buy mine from a beauty supply store and this wig was $45.99. But it is cheaper on online and I will link a couple um, sites where you can purchase this wig cheaper. Okay, now some things about this wig. It has two combs in the front. It has a comb over here and a comb over towards the side. It has one in the back. And it also has the um, elastic um, band in the back where you can make it tighter. Now, this I have a big head, so this wig is snug on my head. Um, I, love, I love the fit, though. I love a nice snug fit. So it doesn't, on my head, it doesn't come all the way over to my hairline, which I, doesn't, I don't want it to anyway because I want to protect my hairline because I am natural. So it fits okay for me. Now, I don't have the wig, the part all the way in the middle. I like a middle part, but I do have it off to the side a little bit. But that's okay for now because I am going to switch it to the middle. The texture of this hair is very, very, very natural feeling. Uh, it is a synthetic wig, but it feels very natural. It feels like um, African American hair that was blow dried and maybe with a light flat iron or something. It feels so nice and soft and uh, very real like. I did see this wig on the young lady's channel. Her name is Brittany. The name of her channel is The Hearts Cakes in 90. I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with her. I did see her review this wig and I fell in love with it and I had to get it. And just so happened it, it was at the, a beauty supply store that I went to that particular day. I wasn't even out looking for this wig but I should have ordered it online, but I was so in a hurry to get it. I just didn't want to wait. So I went on and got it. Um, the density is pretty full, which I'm going to be doing some things to this wig and make it my own. One thing about wigs that I like is if, when you get the wig, if you don't particularly like some things about it, you can change it. So I will be going in and changing some things about this wig, but I do, li I do like the wig. And what I'm going to be doing is I noticed that in here in the wig there are a couple tracks that go up this way most of the tracks are laying down this way but there is a couple right here on the side if you can see right here where it's a little poofy at i don't know if you can see that it's a little poofy right in here these are there's a couple tracks that are facing that way so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in i'm going to take those tracks out so that it'll lay a little more flatter. And then I'm also going to remove some tracks down below, down in here. I like the fullness up top, but as it gets comes down, it's too full for me. So I will be taking some of these tracks out, thinning it out just a little bit, and I am going to switch the part to the middle. And when I come back, I will let you guys see how it looks then. But for now, I do want you to see how full it is, so I'm going to brush through it. It's really pretty. Okay, so you guys can see how full this is. This is how full it is. I'm going to make do a turn so you can see. Just this side. Turn around so you can see this side. And I'll let you see the back. So 
that's the wig for now, but I'm ready to go and do some work on it now. I already did tweeze the part. I'm sorry, I didn't let you guys see the part. This is the part. I hope you guys can see that. So that's the part. So I am going to go ahead and take some tracks out, and then I'll be back and show you guys what I did so far. Okay, I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. So I went on and I thinned this wig out and I like it so much better. If you guys can tell the difference, it looks much more natural now. I took those tracks out that was going up that way. It was about four, I think it was like four or five little tracks that was going up that way. So that, you know, when it fall back down, it can make the fullness. So I took those out. So now it's laying more flatter. Um, and then I just took some, I'll show you the hair that I took out. This is the hair that I took out. Oops, it's falling. And this came from the back and the sides. And now I really like it. Like I really, really like it now. And you can see the part. The part looks much more natural now because I did tweeze it a little bit more. Okay, so I am loving this wig now. Now I feel like I can wear it because it was just too poofy for me. This looks a lot more realistic. Turn it out to the side. So let me stop rambling, guys. I can't stop looking in this mirror over here. I really like this wig. And um, you can wear it behind the ear, you can wear it back, you can put it in a, a little ponytail or a ponytail on the back. If you don't want to wear it out, you can just put Look how realistic that looks just in a ponytail, just going back because it doesn't look too full. It looks pretty natural like this. You can flip it up like that with a little comb in there. Wear it like that. Yes. Perfect protective style. Okay, guys. Thanks again for watching my video. Please stay tuned for more videos. This is my second video on my new channel, The Kinky Life. And, guys, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.